jars because every nobody had any jars for anything, and their the harvest is just going to go to waste. That's dumb. So, um, I told them use these. They told me I don't want to kill my family. All this crazy assumptions that this is not safe without having experimented or tried it themselves at all. Hey friends and all anybody else interested in rebel canning, um, it's 2020 and therefore everything is a little bit different than anybody's ever known about except for probably generations before us who did things a little different than we do now. So I haven't been canning for very long um, but I've canned a lot enough to know what's worked and what doesn't and what people to trust online and, and so far YouTube's been a really great source honestly for learning stuff so get on there because there's all these real life people doing stuff with ex experience that the books aren't going to necessarily all tell you about and one of those things is reusing lids from commercial jars like this this was an old smucker's jar to water bath can your produce your fruit high acid or low acid items follow the recipe and use it like a regular ball canning jar and so um, I learned this kind of off of a hunch of, you know, you learn how to start canning and they tell you that this piece of metal right here is a one-time user. It's got this thick wax stuck into it right here that you can feel it's rubbery, but the, anywhere you read in an official book will tell you that this is a one-timer and then what, you throw it away? But I can tell you that I've eaten a lot of food from jars before, from friends and People used to give them as gifts, and I can guarantee you that people have been reusing their lids. So, what's the big deal? And in that process, I came upon canners who readily say they reuse these, but also came upon canners who readily say that they reuse these types of lids. Anything basically that's metal and has the rungs in it to screw onto the glass jar that it came with or that fits it and has this waxy stuff or rubbery stuff on the inside so this is from a glass juice jar that I got from Trader Joe's and these are sugar free smucker jars that I've been hoarding because my dad used to use them all the time before we started canning our own jams and jellies so um, I had done this research and was telling people on Facebook etc you know try to use commercial jars because every nobody had any jars for anything and they're the harvest is just going to go to waste. That's dumb. So, um, I told them, use these. They told me, I don't want to kill my family. All this crazy assumptions that this is not safe without having experimented or tried it themselves at all. Um, so I thought, well, put my money where my mouth is. And so I did this great big harvest and we processed all this, these vegetables. And then I did a challenge to take every single thing I had to can that day and put it in a jar that had been either used before or was a commercial jar. I even went so far as to use a couple of lids um, that had been dented from using a can opener to open them. Um, and I'll show you with that. Don't do that because then you can't, you, you're damaging them, then you may have to throw them away. So I'm going to insert a picture of the Facebook post I made on September 9th of this layout of jars that I did. to prove to you that they're the same ones and I didn't really move them. All I did was open this jar of banana peppers. It was made from a smucker's bar or it was canned in a smucker's jar one like this and it was popped like a regular seal. What you're looking for is obviously once you're done canning them for the button to go down. I've never, I don't think I've seen any with that have the wax on the inside without the button. That could be a thing but you do need the button and as um, the food that you're cooking cools down, you'll hear them pop. So uh, today I actually did these spaghetti sauces, also in reused lids for these, but then back here I used the Classico um, 
jars that I'd saved. We were just using them as drinking glasses, but then I kept the lids around too, and we're just waiting to see these ones go down. The lids are a bit harder to uh, see, but this one I'm pretty was pretty confident went down. This is the first I pushed on it, and it doesn't pop back up. So the button has sealed. So again, I was so confident in this experiment in doing it that I went ahead and used our spaghetti sauce and put them in jars like that too. But over here I wanted to show you um, a, what a damaged one looks like. So this here is a damaged lid that I still used. Uh, you can see that it's dented. That's from someone taking one of these tools and going like this, but this pokey thing pokes into the metal and damages the integrity of the whole process. So I've taken the ring off of this jar to show you that example. I'll also show you how it's sealed on there. And instead, instead you'll use either a knife tip or like the back of a flat spoon and you sneak it in here in the rung all the way to the tightest point and then you're going to do an action like this and just push, 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 push until you'll heal it and then you'll be able to just pull this lid off. That will keep your lid safe for you to be able to reuse next time. Now this here is called a zinc lid. We, bought, we got it in a, just a box of crap from an auction. Um, but this is what we're talking about today, not a new concept or not a new hack. This is something that people did with these zinc lids. And um, then after this, they moved into different phases of what we now have for canning jars. And somewhere in there, they tricked us all into thinking that these pieces of metal are just single time use. And while maybe they're not 500 time use, maybe, maybe you need to just can your fruits and vegetables and something and not let them go to waste on the counter because it's 2020. So that's my, that's my take on it. I experimented with it. I waited a week so that I could tell you that they stayed sealed. They never popped up. They popped down after taking them out of the counter in regular time. Uh, what you need to do though is boil them. Some people just put their ball lids when they're brand new. They say you don't have to boil them anymore. You just need to put them in hot water. Well now just go ahead and boil them uh, to get this seal nice and warm. Also same with the, the Smucker's book lids or anything that has that waxy stuff in there, put them in the hot water. Then when you put the lids on your jar, after you put your food in it, put the lid on, you just do it finger tight. You don't crank down on it. You gotta just finger tight it because in the canning process, it's gotta release air out of the, the jar before it, and then it reaches temperature and then it stays at that temperature for a certain amount of time, continuing to push air out of the jar. And by the end of it, when you take the jar out, that's when you just give it a little crank in, on these commercial jars. So you just, there'll be it just a little, you'll just tighten it. It's not going to come off. You'll still be able to do this with the jar. Can it, do the thing. Then when you pull it out, just crank down on it. So it's going to turn like a little bit, depending on the size of the jar. So that's my take. I hope that it helps. Um, I like to call this rebel canning. Have a good day.
Let not kindness and fidelity leave you. Bind them around your neck. Then will you win favor and good esteem before God and man. Trust in Yahweh with all of your heart. On your own intelligence rely not. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear Yahweh and turn away from evil. This will mean health for your flesh and vigor for your bones. Proverbs 3, 3-8 through eight. Thank <laughs> you.